Welcome back to our channel VFX Forge. So today we are going to see how we can create this type of effect inside our nuke. So without talking much, let's jump into the video. I am the ghost of the Uchiha, Madara Uchiha. Okay, so just let's start our class. Okay, the first thing I want to tell you uh, about this, you must know the uh, tracking of Mocha. Okay, if you don't know, just go and watch my Mocha series. Okay, you will get to it how you can use the Mocha. What is the uh, Mocha pipeline? How you can you how you can use that for tracking? Okay, Mocha is a tracking software. Okay, in this uh, tutorial also we are going to use the Mocha uh, for tracking. Okay, for 2D tracking also. Okay, first of all we will see how I have composed this shot. Okay, after that we will see the tracking in Mocha also. Okay, so just let's start. Uh, here what I have done first. I have just transformed my uh, clip here as you can see uh, this is my uh, original footage okay after that I have transformed my shot little bit okay I have scaled a little bit of my uh, shot after that I have uh, denoised it okay you can use the denoise also or you can use the uh, reduce noise also it's up to you at the end okay after that I have just reformat and rendered up my shot after rendering the shot I have done some touch up okay as you can see here I have used the transform mask for removing my pimple here okay you can I have just used some uh, transform mask here and it has been removed okay it is really easy for example I have to show if uh, press tab and take the transform mask here okay just connect to it after that what you have to do first of all you have to roto that area in that area which you have to remove for example I have to remove my pimple so I am using this roto node and after that what you have to do just uh, take the mask input of this transform mask and plug to in it after that you will see you are getting one gizmo here in transform mask control con uh, press control and just drag on to that mask area okay after that what you can do just you can remove it like this okay you can see our, our pimple is ha has been removed after that you can use some edge blur also here as i have used here you can use edge blur and that uh, pimple will be gone okay or you can uh, feather it out for example i am here and i have to feather this just go on to the roto and just do the feather part here you can feather this out also okay make sure you have roto or uh this area this uh, pimple area in all the frames okay make sure that okay after that what i have done just i have uh, color corrected little bit as you can see i have uh, just uh, uh, reduced the saturation of this whole footage and just gain uh, gain up down okay after that in as you can see uh, this is my first color correct here okay saturation is down and some gain is also down okay after that and in this grade what i have done i just uh, increase the value of uh, red area inside our uh, footage okay i have just lower down little bit of gain all over okay i don't want that after that what i have done i have just graded the parts of my eyes like this i have just graded my black area from here as you can see this is uh, very uh, visible here i want uh, i want this area to be shaded or to be uh, graded down so i have just uh, roto this part okay and I've just gated up down this area. Okay. Say so I have used same procedure in this also. In this I also I want these two parts. Uh, these two areas should be uh, in dark. So when I will uh, put that effect. Uh, that Sharingan effect on my eyes. So, so then it looks really good. Okay. So after that let's go to the Sharingan area. Okay. How I've created my this eye effect. Okay. So first of all you have to take the Sharingan. Uh, reformat it and transform it in perspective to your eyes okay here what i have done i have just masked this black area here for example if i show you what i have masked here i will use some constant here okay as you can see this black portion i don't want that so i have masked that area from here and I want that uh, red area to be visible. So I mask this area. Okay. 
this black area only white uh, only red area I, I i want that okay then again i have transformed here i have just uh, graded the upper portion of the sharingan for example uh, if i'll show you i want this type of uh, graded area i want this type should be not that much visible as my whole uh, sharingan is visible so i have just graded the upper portion of the area of sharingan okay as you can see this after that what i have done i have just graded the uh, edges of the sharingan also for example i have rotated this out and i have just graded down the portion of the sharingan okay after that i have just uh, uh, desaturated okay my uh, sharingan also i don't want this much of gain this much of uh, uh, exposure on my sharingan so that's why i have just graded it down okay as you can see saturation is also down in our uh, scene okay in this color correct after that what i have done i want some uh, texture on my sharingan i can't put this type of uh, sharingan on my eyes because it will uh, look very uh, unrealistic so i have to use some texture on it for that i have used this eye you just have to go to the google and just type i and you will get this type of uh, uh, references and you can take from it okay and you can take that reference uh, image of the eye and you can replace to it, it to your sharingan also okay i have just uh, uh, used the reformat here after that just roto it out uh, roto it out how much uh, i i people i want i then i have just uh, uh, transform it and what i have done here i want this uh, black area should be visible on my uh, that eye texture so i have just uh, remove it from here or i have just uh, over it okay as you can see this black area i want to be visible on my uh, this eyes so i have just over it i have rotate it out and just I over it after that what i have done i have just merged into my sharingan so it will look like this i have used the merge operation is hard light you can go for the soft light also here but i am using the hard light also it depends on the texture what type of texture you are using on your sharingan okay so i have used the hard light in merge so you will get this type of texture or effect on your sharingan okay after that for getting some that uh, uh, movement or some that power uh, particles in your eyes what i have done i have used the noise texture inside it for example i'll show you uh, for what i am talking make sure i have make this as you can see for example in my eyes there are some particles are moving as you can see here see this some particles are moving i think you are you can see this as you can see in my eyes particles are moving here for that what i have done i have used the texture from the noise for example i'll show you i have made this texture from noise you can just tap and take one noise here okay and with the wait a minute not this one this one okay with the help of this you can make your own texture and you can uh, animate that for example if you will uh, apply these uh, uh, properties in your uh, noise in your noise properties th then it will work like same my, like mine okay so what i have done i have just uh, increased the size of uh, of my xyz size and just i have animated the z value of my texture for example if i increase this like this like i'll give it to 245 okay and i increase the x size and i will decrease the gamma of this so this type of texture will be visible okay and now you can just grade it up okay i just transform here and little bit i have graded up okay i have to gain that uh, white portion more to be visible on my eyes texture okay on that sharingan texture so i have just graded it up and just mask it out if you can see i have masked this part from the sharingan okay and just use the difference property so that particle effect can be seen on my sharingan eyes okay now it is not uh, very difficult you have to just mask first mask it out from your sharingan part and then again you have to just difference it okay to remove that particle effect from your eyes okay after that what i have done i have used one optical glow here for example you can download it from mukepedia okay uh, this optical glow for i'll double click and you can see my properties here okay 
Uh, use these parameters. Uh, I have increased the size to 70. Aspect ratio is 1.35. Brightness is 1.91. Okay. And I think this much I have used in this uh, optical glow. Okay. After that, this type of effect will come in your uh, scene. See this. It is looking good. Okay. After that, we have tracked our eyes. Okay. I have uh, used the tracking data from my uh, from my Mocha. I have exported and I have just put it in here. Okay. And I have just mar masked my eyes here. As you can see, I have to just keep my eyes. Uh, so I have marked that area. See this. I have masked the area of this Sharingan. Okay. And I have just created some part of my eyes here. As you can see. And I have merged to it. Okay. I have copied this Sharingan to my other eyes also. See this. I have marked and then I have just copied it to my to the another part of my eyes. And I have masked that uh, extra part. Okay. As you can see, I have marked this extra part and this little bit of I have used graded here. And just I have rendered it out like this. Okay. After that, what I have done, I have just copy that uh, transform the, which is the tracking data of mocha okay as you can see this these are the tracking data which i have exported from our mocha okay i have just copied it out here and used some flares as you can see this is the flare superstar this is node you can download it from your pd i have downloaded from that there, there only okay because normal flare is not that much good i will say okay i don't like this much uh, flare this flare is yellow good which i have downloaded you can go and download it from there okay uh, this is by Lucas Fabian. You can download it from there. And I have used this flare to get some glow on my uh, eyes and get some that uh, uh, flare effect on my eyes also, as you can see here. Okay. What I have done, I have just, you can see all my properties here. I have just some increased the red portion of the, the uh, flare, as you can see. And I have just increased the gamma of this flare. Okay. Just gamma red portion also red parameters. I have just changed the red parameters all over the scene. Okay. And I have just removed the odd ray length. Okay. I have just decreased the odd ray because uh, it is not good. As you can see, I will increase that. It will not work good. So I've just remove it. Okay. After that, uh, just see the ray intensity is zero. Rotation is zero. Uh, ray gamma is also zero. Okay, softness, uh, softness you can maintain. Uh, I have given 2.4. Okay, and this much only. And in uh, another, as you can go, go up, you will see the glare controls here also. Here, what I have done, I have used the intensity to 0 0.18 and gamma is to 0 0.94. And the details of this is 0 0.44. And the Z is uh, 0.08. Okay. Why I'm telling this much in flare superstar because this flare superstar is a little bit confusing. So as you can see here, what you have to change. There are many things here as you can see. See this. Okay. As you can see, this is uh, my edited one and this is the main one. Okay. This is the default one. So use that much only what I'm saying thickness is you can see thickness is zero in mine and thickness is much more in this. Okay. For example, if I show you the flare will be looking like this. So you don't have to use this much. Okay. You have to use like this. And uh, I was telling the glare control area. Okay. And here you have to use a 0 0.18 intensity and 0 0.94 details as you can see this. Okay and Z also. Okay, these, these are the things which I am, uh, I have used in all the parts. Okay. In my, uh, flare superstar. Okay. As you can see this. Okay. For the, uh, same, I have used the same glare. Just, I have transformed that area to one, to the other side. Okay. I've just copied this to the other side. After that, I've just cropped this, uh, cinematic purpose. I've just used the crop here. Okay. And just reformat it uh, for ga uh, regaining our shot. What I have done, I have just used the from plus method for regaining our grains. And here we have regained our, all the grains and just I have reformatted here the scene again and I have rendered this out. Okay, now let's jump in on to the mocha and see what I have done and how I have tracked this shot in mocha. Okay, so now just let's jump on to the mocha. Okay, now we are on 
our mocha software okay now let's just see how i have tied my eyes inside our mocha after importing uh, your short what you have to do just take here a uh, x spline layer okay and make i'll make this type of shape if you have to learn the mocha from basic uh, make sure you have uh, watched my mocha series okay you will get okay and after that what you will do just see this after uh, making the shape i have just click on the track forward area and our tracking is started okay our whole eyes is have been tracked here okay after that what you will do just track backward now okay as you can see uh, when i'll close my eyes this type of popper will come so what how you can fix that let's see after when uh, the tracking is over let's see we have to just uh manual track this area for example let's go backward frame here and just we will manually assume that our track should be liking and after that in second frame our eyes have been closed fully closed so just remove this shape okay after that what you will see the track is going good okay so after tracking your shot what you have to do just click on the on your layer okay which you have tracked and just export it from here as you can see the uh, in lower area in track area you will have some export export track click on that and go here and uh, search for new corner pin just click on that and just copy it to clipboard you can go on your new and just copy it there and you can use this for uh, tracking purpose okay i think you have learned something new in this uh, class so if you liked it Okay, so please subscribe to our channel and like this video if you loved it. For this class, this much is enough. We'll meet you in another class. Till then, keep creating and stay professional. Bye-bye.